In the last video, I introduced you to a whole range of my favorite cameras, starting with a very rudimentary, simple pinhole camera that's almost not more than a cardboard box, up through my Kodak Retina, which is a lovely little sophisticated rangefinder from the 60s. Now, in this video, I want to talk in detail about my SLR, my film SLR, because really this film SLR has more in common with the camera you're likely to use for this class, the DSLR, than any of the other cameras we looked at. Now, you've probably heard that term DSLR and SLR, and maybe you were afraid to ask what that was really all about. You just assumed people thought you should know. Uh, but this is what I want to get into in this video. It's really explaining what that SLR means. It stands for single lens reflex as opposed to twin lens reflex. And these cameras, this Nikon D3200 and this Pentax MX, two of my favorite cameras, um, are both SLRs. This one is digital, but they're both single lens reflex. And you can see that even though this one is more compact and not all black and has a different kind of profile to it, it also is quite similar in its silhouette. And that's because it is, in its basic function and structure, it is very, very similar. It's really um, almost the same camera, just in a film version. Okay, I'm gonna set this DSLR aside and just focus on the SLR and walk you through all of those features because it's really gonna help you to understand your DSLR and photography much better. So this is a Pentax MX, nice little metal body camera, probably made in the 60s or 70s. I acquired it about 10 years ago, I think. One of my favorite cameras to shoot with. And uh, the let's just start with the things that it has in common with other cameras, just to remind you, it has a light type box. The camera body is really that light type box. And that actually in this one is very, very compact. So I wanna just open up the back and you'll see this looks very much like the back of the retina, except for one thing. There's actually a, a, a curtain back here, or a black curtain or piece of fabric back here. And that's actually the shutter in this camera. In the rangefinder, in all the other cameras that we've looked at, the shutter and the aperture are the same thing. But in our SLRs and our DSLRs, the shutter is a curtain at the back and the aperture is in the lens. And there's a reason for that. It's very, very handy. The way that the camera is structured, we can have our aperture open and look through it before we take the picture. Okay, and I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. So this takes 35 millimeter film. Other than that, very similar. It has this nice light tight box. That's very important. Um, let's take a look at the front. So we have all the other features that we're used to. We have a film advance. We don't need that in a DSLR because everything happens electronically. Uh, there is actually a meter and an exposure indicator in this camera. It's actually through the lens, which I can't show you. Uh, but very simple, basic system, works the same way where you look through and you set it um, in manual. It only operates, by the way, on manual. There's no automatic on this camera at all. We set our shutter speed here, and we set our aperture on the lens, and that's very cool. So these are interchangeable lenses. This is a 50 millimeter lens. Let me just uh, take that off so I can show you how this lens looks. And this is something, by the way, do not do this with your digital lenses. Uh, the old manual lenses were structured very differently. The digital lenses uh, really are actually have, uh, don't do it, you'll break the lens. Okay, but these old manual lenses you can play with. So I wanna actually just show you because I can manually shut this down and open it up. There it is, and there's a, there's a picture of it. Um, there is the F, I believe this is F22. Yep, this is the smallest aperture on this lens. There's F22, and I can open it up. And there is F1.7, that's the widest aperture. So that's as wide as the lens can open, super, super wide. Now, this actually is something important to talk about about lenses. Why are lenses so valuable? Why are they not essential, but why are they valuable? And this really shows you. This is so much bigger than that pinhole lens. It lets in a lot more light. We can shoot much more quickly. But in order to do that, we have to be able to focus. If we just 
had a hole in the camera this size, it would just be a big blurry mess. There would be no picture at all. So the lens, which is composed of a couple of uh, one or more or uh, sometimes several convex and concave pieces of glass that are organized together to focus the image. So now that we've looked at the aperture in the lens, let's uh, put that back and let's take a look at the shutter because I want to show you how that operates. So I'm just going to set the shutter on one second. Let's open up the camera again. So when I hit this, remember I have to advance this, when I hit this shutter um, and operate the shutter in the back, you can see that curtain just opens and closes. Very cool. So the film would be here, then the shutter, and then the lens is in the front. Now you're hearing that noise, and there's a really important reason for that. I'm going to show you that next, because it's really the most important thing about this camera. And by the way, your DSLR has exactly the same kind of shutter system in it. You just can't look into it because uh, the image sensor is back there. We don't open it up and put film anymore. But this shutter system is exactly the same. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, by the way, one of the things I want to mention is we're looking at the numbers on this camera. Uh, you'll notice that on this camera, if you look at that shutter speed dial, that uh, there aren't very many numbers on there. You have a whole lot more numbers on your camera, the ones that we've been talking about already. Uh, this we're going to get into next week or the following week. We're going to start to talk about these numbers and what they mean and how they break down. Don't worry about the fact that you have so many more. You also want to notice that most of these, all of the numbers that are on this shutter speed dial are all in your camera. You have every one of them. It's just that you have a few more. The same thing is true for the aperture dial. You notice that there are far fewer apertures here, um, but all of the numbers that are on here, unless you don't go quite that low, but most of them, these are the same numbers that are on your camera. You just have more numbers in between those numbers. And again, I'm going to explain those in a lot more detail in a couple of weeks. Um, okay, so let's actually go ahead and take a look at the reflex system because this is the most important thing about this camera and about your DSLR. It's called a single lens reflex, and that means that we only have one lens, but we have that reflex system so that when we look through the viewfinder, we are actually looking through the lens. The image comes in, and you might have noticed that when you look in your viewfinder, in your DSLR, and you're changing your focus, that you can see the things in the viewfinder going in and out of focus. Very cool. And that's because the light is coming into your lens, it's hitting a mirror inside, just like in the twin lens, but there's only one here, and going up into this prism area where the image is turned upside down and backwards so that it looks correct for you. Now, here's an interesting thing that you may know, and that is when we look at the world, we see it upside down and backwards, but our brain turns it around. So the camera has a prism system to do that for us. Okay, let's see how that works. This is the fun part. So if you open up your DSLR camera, you'll see the same thing. Be careful, don't do this in a place that's very dusty if you wanna look and don't leave it open too long. Uh, but you can look at this, this, uh, this this apparatus in your camera as well. So if we look right behind the lens, we see that mirror slightly angled, or it's actually about a 45 degree angle. The image hits that mirror, flips it up into here, and then we can see it right side up. But you can see that there's a kind of a strange issue here. I won't call it a problem because we have a solution, but there is something that is a little bit odd. The, the negative is back here, right? We have, if we go back and we open this up again, remember that we have the shutter and the negative goes to the back of it. If we're trying to make a photograph through this lens, that mirror is in the way. So let's see what happens. Let's take it down to a slower shutter speed so we can see it happen slowly. We'll go all the way down to one. The mirror pops up and then comes down again. And that is what makes all that noise. You might actually have a feature on your smartphone to make it sound like an SLR. because That is the famous sound of a photograph being made, is that mirror flipping up and then flipping down again. 
Now, here's something super trippy about SLRs and DSLRs. This is one of my favorite things to, uh, to think about when I'm making photographs with these kinds of cameras. So think about this. When I'm looking through my camera, and try this with your camera as I do this, if I look through my camera and I focus and I hit the shutter, what happens when that shutter when that shutter hits? During that one second exposure, I just did a long one so I could really do it dramatically, that mirror flips up, which means I can see nothing. The image goes dark. So here's the thing to think about. The, that moment that you are, that the shutter goes dark and that you cannot see the photograph, that is the moment that the photograph is being made. You see ahead of the photograph and after the photograph, but the one thing you don't see is the actual photograph. Okay, uh, hope this helped you to understand cameras. Photography gave you some more questions that we could talk about in the discussion, and we'll give you a clue about how to work with your DSLR camera.